Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make ricotta crostini with roasted tomatoes. Let's get started with the video. Begin by mixing 3 tablespoons of olive oil and 1 teaspoon of minced garlic in a small bowl. When you're finished, set it to the side. Next, cut a loaf of French bread into thin slices. When you're finished, place the sliced bread on a tinfoil lined baking sheet. Then brush both sides of the sliced bread with the garlic oil we prepared before. When you're finished, place the bread in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. While the bread is toasting in the oven, we're going to make the ricotta mixture. In a food processor, add 8 ounces of ricotta cheese. Then add 1 teaspoon of minced garlic, 1 tablespoon of olive oil, 2 to 3 leaves of basil, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Then blend everything together until smooth. When you're finished, place the ricotta mixture in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. Once the bread is finished toasting in the oven, take it out and set it to the side. Next, we're going to make the roasted tomatoes. In a small baking dish, add one pound of sweet cherry tomatoes, one tablespoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of minced garlic, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Then mix everything together until the tomatoes are evenly coated. When you're finished, bake the tomatoes in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes or until the tomatoes have slightly burst. Now that all the ingredients have been prepared, we can start putting everything together. First, spread one to two tablespoons of the ricotta mixture on each slice of bread. Then top each slice of bread with two to three roasted tomatoes. After adding the tomatoes, sprinkle on some Tuscan blend seasoning and red pepper flakes. Then drizzle some balsamic vinegar on top. And finally, sprinkle some freshly chopped basil on top as well. And this is the finished result! These ricotta crostinis were delicious and savory. They're super easy to make and make a great appetizer or snack. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!